It is with pride that I now open Calder Hall, Britain's first atomic power station. station in the world. It was um, commissioned and opened by the Queen, so the plant's been around a long time, generated a lot of power and kept a lot of lights on for this country. So it's got a pretty proud heritage uh, and being the first of its kind, it had a very proud, long mission. And now our mission is to, to end its life cycle, defuel it, decommission it, uh, and remove the hazard that's associated with an old nuclear facility. URS ENC Safe Project of the Year Award is a really significant award to me, but it's also a significant award for the company. It's a pretty coveted award, and it's a very challenging award. To win the Safe Project of the Year, you can't just be safe, okay? You have to be a really successful project, too. You have to deliver on your mission. You have to exceed your customers' expectations. And you have to do all of that in an exemplarily safe way. Caller's gone for more than seven and a half years without a lost time accident. We have a, a small and a, but a very efficient project team uh, that runs Calder. We have a significant risk. We have four reactors that are full of fuel that are shut down and being decommissioned at Sellafield. And we're doing it really quietly, okay, with a well-run project don't have a high demand on, on the rest of resources, solve their own problems, and every single day they operate safe. Their guys go home healthy, they go home proud of the work they're doing, proud of taking care of each other. Uh, and one thing that I noticed the very first time I walked into Calder Hall is I felt like somebody was watching my back. Not watching me, but watching my back. The activities we do with Calder, high risk activities, uh, and even the changing activities that we do, the team adapts to that change at the same standards of safety apply and, and work throughout. And that's the, the bottom line really, we're part of the team, we're part of the family. Safety isn't something that we do in addition, it's something we do ordinarily. 